what most of us know of the internet, social media, video streaming, catching up on the latest news or googling random facts. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Password encrypted websites like online banking or government databases, along with roughly 90% of all websites, exist in the deep web. It's a vast layer of content that is hidden from view, out of reach of standard search engines. And it's also home to the dark web. Like an object and its shadow, the dark web is linked to its mainstream cousin. The infrastructure and concept for both were born together in the 1970s. In the early 2000s, the US Navy developed Tor, a browser, much like Chrome or Safari, specifically designed for accessing the dark web. It was created to provide naval officers with information that couldn't be traced. Before long, the anonymity of this shadowy internet underworld became a valuable asset for a variety of other actors. Drug and arms dealers, human traffickers, child pornographers and hired assassins all turned to the platform to ply their illegal trades. While looking and acting like normal software, Darknet softwares do not identify their users' IP addresses, allowing them to browse without leaving any footprints behind. But according to those in the know, anonymity definitely isn't guaranteed. Well, nothing on the um, internet uh, is safe, and the dark web um, is policed very heavily by law enforcement across the world. People think that there's anonymity in there. Um, nothing is really uh, completely anonymous uh, when it's on the web. In 2013, the founder of a notorious online black market known as the Silk Road was sentenced to life in prison for money laundering, drug trafficking, hacking and fraud. The site was shut down, but many others like it still operate. Illegal commerce is only part of the business of the dark web. Information sharing, its original purpose, still flourishes there. Wikileaks is the most well-known example. And news outlets like the New York Times and The Guardian use secure drop sites to receive anonymous tips and documents, encouraging users to share encrypted files to contribute to their investigative journalism. Governments and law enforcement may try to regulate the dark web or even consider shutting it down altogether, if that's even possible. But with so many secrets needing to be kept, its benefits may well outweigh its costs. Kubra Akkoç, TRT World.